What would happen if you left the planning of your holiday down to an app? Looking back at the travels and the trips that I've been on over the years, I've always known my exact destination and also what I'll be doing whilst I'm there. About a year ago, I came across this app called Lucky Trip. You input the dates you'd like to travel and what style of trip you'd like to go on and they do all the rest. I've literally been obsessed with this idea ever since I heard about it, but I've never actually used it. I've invited down a good friend of mine, travel YouTuber Simon Wilson to get involved as he is more than used to last minute traveling and is also just a good laugh to be around. Fun fact, last year, Simon spent 10 months out of the 12 traveling to the most ridiculous list of countries you have ever seen, places that you would only ever wish of one day getting the opportunity to travel to. So the plan's simple. Simon arrives at my office and we book a last minute trip for tomorrow morning to an unknown destination purely picked by the app Lucky Trip. And just in case you're watching this and thinking, is this a sponsored video? It's actually not. It does sound like it, but this video is not sponsored. Simon's just sat down and gone, let's pick somewhere sick. And I'm like, <laughs> do you know what we're doing? <laughs> You've not even told me. Flying from London, 7th to the 8th, three people, all types of accommodation, yep. adventure and off-grid. Yeah. How many times are we pressing this button? What do you reckon? Once or three I times. Think we... I, I think we... I think once. Yeah, let's just do it once. Because if we press three, I feel like we're going to just want to do four. Yeah. I feel like one's just so clean and simple. Let's do it once. Yeah, off-grid and adventure. We could do chill and love. We'll stick to off-grid. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you ready? Yeah. Lucky. Oh. Do you want me to have a look at it first? Go for it, right. Oh. Also, the flight could be in like four hours time. So what we can do here, so we've got Malta, Field End B&B, &B, and Assaults, I don't know what that is. Salt pans. Assault pans. So what you can do is you can swipe and change things. Ah, okay. You love, yeah. you love this <laughs> bro. No, no, bro. no. Get swiping that. Get this swiping. looks ridiculous. <laughs> Are we going scuba diving? I don't like the sea, mate. You love the no. sea. No, get you swiping. Love the sea. Get swiping. Look into my big blue hole. <laughs> <laughs> the big blue oh. hole is Gozo's favorite diving spot. Oh, mate, I ain't that, mate. No chance. Hanging out beside the now collapsed. As your window, divers get tingly just thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Swim down the vertical tunnel into the black abyss for yourself. Mate, I ain't doing that. No. Shall we do it? Mate, have you seen my diving in North Korea? I ain't diving in that. Right, now it's my turn to do it. Let's just say I'm absolutely terrified. Oh, that's very, uh, very high. <laughs> no, let's press it again. Cut the camera. <laughs> you want to press it again? Yeah, let's press it again. At last time though, I haven't got, if, if another big blue hole pops up, we have to do it then, if, if it comes up the okay. second time. We'll press it again. We're currently on Malta, as you can see, which is not going to be happening. Nope. Because <laughs> someone's been crying. This is the one. What's this? The Gorge. That looks sick. Sorrento. Have you done Sorrento? Never. Have you not? No. My parents did it recently, I've never done it. I've done Rome and Milan, never done Sorrento. That looks mega. Clubbing, no. And a volcano. A volcano? Look into the belly of the volcano. That Wait. mowed down 20,000 people. I scope out the awesome scenery as you hike up to the mouth of this brute. So we've That's got. That's insane. I think this is the one. Because we could always try and double up. We could do this, the gorge. And the volcano, if we have enough time. Yeah, the volcano will be sick. And the, well, it'd all be sick. How far is Sorrento? That's not too long a flight. No, it's Italy, isn't it? But it's southern Italy. Leave at 1, and then fly back at 8pm. Yeah. Save. Pick a room. Okay. Imagine if it said, cannot book now. Oh my god. We'd be going to the big blue hole. Mate, and I'd have to jump in. I'd just send it. Would you do it? I'd have to, if that cancelled now. What about if I cancel it now? No, if you cancel it now, I'm getting straight back in my Uber car and going straight home.
you and behind the camera, literally, did you hear what you just said? No. He went, oh, this is when we need a car outside saying Alfie Day is waiting. I was like, no, because then it'll be too easy. We need to find how we get to the hotel because we don't, we've currently flown into Naples. Yeah. We don't need to be here, we need to be in Sorrento. And it's like an hour away. There's a guy there stood with a note saying Alfred Day. Shut <laughs> But we didn't book a car. Are you being serious? <laughs> this is us. Is that actually us? Or is that me? I mean, it can't not be for us. That's perfect. Me. Oh, sorry. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, but is it for you? That's my name. I know, but you didn't book anything. Alfred. Yeah. Are. Where are you going? For the Sorrento. So who sent you? Yeah. Who, who brought you? Not like uh, the <laughs> Lucky Trip Company. Yeah. yeah. They tell you to come. Or? Yeah. Lucky so, Trip. Lucky, lucky Trip. Ah, Lucky nah. Trip told you to come. Nah. Legit, have no idea what's going on right now. I thought we were going to be getting on. I've been Googling a train that is like a 10 minute walk from here, then an hour train, then a five minute walk the other side. Yeah, okay, Come okay. Come on now. Okay, Come okay. Now. Okay. That's the thing. Oh, okay. This is insane. Yes. I don't know what is going on. No way. Okay. Trust me. I haven't got a clue what's going I on. I haven't got idea. So we're going to um, Sorrento. Sorrento, yes. Perfect. Grazie. I've just pulled up the email. Transfer. We've organised private transfers for you at no extra cost. Your driver will be waiting for you near the baggage claim in Naples Airport with your name on a sign. On the way back, they'll be waiting at the entrance of your hotel. I've attached the transfer confirmation with further, further details. No if you'd like cost. a different pickup time, just let me know. What? Flipping happy day. What is your name? My name is Ciro. Ciro, nice to meet you, Ciro. Nice to meet you, me. You have nice Where are you? you? Simon. Simon. Alfie. Alfred, you? Kieran. Oh. It's good. What? You've got the best name. Ciro. 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 Yes. My name is original, the Naples. Ah, lovely. Yeah. What's Naples like? Are you from here originally? Yeah, no, I was born in Chicago. Chicago? Yes. Ah. The, my family you live in Chicago. The, my ah. wife Italian, Naples. Ah. The, my grandfather, Naples. Ah. You've got like a bit of a Chicago twang actually, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. I've just said I'm tired and zero of the drivers like, no, 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 no job. No time to be tired in Sorrento, no zero. No, Are you no coming sleeping. out tonight, party with us? In Sorrento, no sleeping. No sleeping. Are we going for Too a bottle much of woman. wine? Too much woman? Yeah. Oh. You go out with lady or? Yeah. Uh, one, two, three? Three. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is it. Oh yeah, beautiful. Is this it? Yeah. It's a uh, Villa Silvana. Uh, is it? For you. Everything. Are we sure this, this is, is the everything you? Three, four, ten street, ten uh, room. Hi. Yes, come on, baby. I love you. No idea. Are we sure? Are you sure this is Villa Silvana? Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Oh. Everything. Are you sure? No, it's not. This isn't the... One room, one room, one room. No, it's not. This car for you. We, we haven't got no, the whole thing. No, it's not. No, it's not, is it? No, Mate, this I, is a hotel. Mate, I don't think it is. Mate, this is... This is a hotel. Are you sure this is yeah. Villa Silver? How do we get in? You for uh, your I'm owner. No, I, I'm not the owner. Yeah, your owner. Yeah. I don't own this. I don't know, is this? We have no idea. Ciro has brought us to the right place. Oh, it smells unbelievable. Hey, it's lovely. Look at you at the back. I feel like I should have bought Zoe in, not you guys. Cheers, babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little snacks as well. This place is just ridiculous. Mate, it's a <laughs> Okay, so we didn't bring out the big vlog camera because we've just come out for dinner. The last clip that you've seen was us. Uh, in arriving at the hotel. We've been checked in, we've been taking some photos, editing some pictures, looking at the clips that we've been filming today. But we didn't bring out the camera because we thought 
we don't really know what the vibe is here, whether we're just gonna like go to the closest restaurant, tiny little quiet place. Turns out Sorrento is the absolute one. And this just looks unbelievable. So I'm currently just filming on my iPhone. Simon's currently got TripAdvisor up. I think he's found some particular restaurant that he wants to go to. They're knowing him, it's probably a 40 minute walk away. Three hours later, we've arrived. Sure, this isn't a furniture shop. I know what's coming. <laughs> I know what's coming. Come on, Alfie, spit it out, mate. Spit it out. They don't do dinner here. No, they don't. Just salads. Do I look like a salad guy? <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much. Can I give you that? Uh, <laughs> uh, too funny. What have you got in there? <laughs> <laughs> it's currently quarter to 12 at night. Is it that late? Yeah, quarter to midnight. Today's been so good. Obviously tomorrow's only gonna get even better. Tomorrow is all the content, all the bits from the actual trip of why we're here. And um, yeah, we need to go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> He's finally awake. Half past ten. He's finally awake. That's what? <laughs> He's already, he's already had a Lucas aid. Give him some energy. No, we've just had breakfast. We are about to head off to the gorge. Luckily, it is the most beautiful day, and somehow the weather, the wind has just stopped. It was like the windiest night I've yeah. probably ever had in my life. So we're going to go hit up the gorge now, which is literally a four. Are five you going to be able to keep up with me at the top? I'll try, I'll try, <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> I've just been Googling, we've got a six minute walk, 450 Is it that meters. Close? Yeah, six minutes, it's like right in the center of the city. Oh, so I don't know what to expect because on the app, it looked like it was in the middle of the jungle. No! It's a construction site. Shut up. That isn't it. That is it. Are you being serious? That's it. Don't know what to say to that, mate. <sighs> All I'm going to say is I'm glad that there is a ridiculous volcano that we're also going to today. Because if this was the only thing... You can't even get to it. You can't even get down there. Can you? Right, I'm going to go and ask a local. Alright, take this. I am still not having this. There has got to be a way down there. Sorry, do you speak English? Um, can you go in the gorge? No, it's not possible. It's not possible to go in? They work for uh, uh, The explanation is, this is a new project. Yeah. They're currently working on it for next year. Yeah. But you can go down there. Now? No, not now because they're working on it. But next year, next summer, you're going to be able to go down there and walk around. Currently sat on the floor in like the city centre. <coughs> Why are we sat down? We haven't got any ice cream yet, come on. I'm trying to change the driver. Basically, they emailed yesterday, obviously, saying that they've sorted out complimentary driver, which we had no idea about, as you saw. So I've messaged them, I've emailed them to see whether we can pull that driver right forward. Him drop us to the bottom of the volcano instead of at the airport. And then if we can pay extra yeah. to come from the back from the bottom of the volcano to the airport afterwards. Yeah. I haven't had a reply yet. That's what we're trying to do. It's ice cream from a three generation. Really? My three generations? Yeah, my start, start my father, after me, now my son and daughter. Ah, no way. And uh, we make ice cream every morning fresh. Every oh, morning. Fresh so as well. Fresh every morning. Wow. wow. You can the tell all the ice cream are 24 hours. And then that's has gone. All with the fresh ingredient, the fresh fruit, the sugar. So I've just had a message back from Lucky Trip. Vesuvius National Park will close at 4 p.m. Which means that you wouldn't have enough time to hike up to the volcano if you left at 2 p.m. Yeah. We need to basically just get in a taxi and just get someone to take us there. Basically we have to get up there and back 
for 4, 4 p.m. And it takes over an hour to get there. We're literally sitting here having coffee. We've literally had all day. I know, I didn't even think. 100% there is no way we are not getting up the <coughs> volcano. It's an hour and a half in a taxi to the volcano from here. Yeah. So even if we go there now, we're not going to make it. That's what I'm saying. We've got to be quick. How much is the taxi to the volcano? Which volcano? Uh, the the Mount Vesuvius. Mount Vesuvius. One you have to go now. Yeah. yeah. One we way. Have... One way. One way. We work by me then. There's one across the road from the taxi. Yeah, we're in a big rush here. Yeah, one. Uh, a car park. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. We have a flight, like, soon. So we just need to get there as soon as possible. Got to think very much. Safe for what? For crime, you know. Oh, really? People uh, pickpocket uh, this kind of situation. You know? Oh, really? Yeah. Few people can stop you, you know, stop the car, take you something in the car. You know. Wow. I feel really? like this is quite sketchy. I've been emailed a location from Lucky Trip where we're going to get picked up later. Yeah. I just want to make sure that, that this is that place. Because imagine if it was way further down. Yeah. Yo. This isn't the one. Yo. Man, knackers. I'm rearranging my shorts, tightening them up. I'm literally already tired and we've done like nothing. Yeah, but uh, you're fit. I'm not, you see. Bro, you're fitter than me. Let's go. Simon said he wanted a little break. I don't mind that. Get filming this guy, this guy. I didn't want a little break. You're the one who wants a break. Yo, I cycled 45 miles two days ago. Exactly, you should be fit as a fiddle, come on. Right, we've just reached a little shop bit. I don't know if that means we're near the top or not, but bloody hell, we're high. I think this could be it, boys. Yeah, I think it's good. Oh, damn, okay. Holy crap. I did not expect the scale to be that big. Wow, that is amazing, that, isn't it? We're just saying now how we thought, well, I thought the volcano would be amazing. I did not think it'd be as big as that at all. No. But I didn't think at all about how amazing the view would be the other side. I just thought it'd be standing at the top of a really cool volcano. Yeah. All right, that's a good piece. That is volcanic a good piece. rock. Comment on the video, give it a thumbs up. We'll send this to one of you. Pick you at random a week after the video goes up. It's good. Show that. That's it. We don't know whether we should put the drone up. I've looked into. Comment on the video you get. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> All right, guys, one of you. You give the video a thumbs up and comment on it. Simon's gonna send you this. <laughs> We've got like 11 minutes or something to meet our driver to take us back and it's, it's like rocking. a 40 minute hike. Also, we don't actually know where the driver's meeting us. We've been sent a restaurant that he's gonna be waiting outside, but obviously there isn't restaurants here. So I, we don't really know the stitch. We're just gonna have to see how it pans out. Oh, and also there's no signal, which is just super helpful, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Always helpful. I'll tell you another thing as well, really interesting. That guy I spoke to about the drone. Yeah. He said, you know, Volvic water. Yeah. It's made from there. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. You yeah. wouldn't walk it? I wouldn't walk it. I wouldn't walk it. But you alone. Oh, cause you probably are at the top. So okay. it won't be that. Okay, perfect. As long as it's not dark, that's better. Okay. If yeah. you do it with the sun, that's fine. Okay, okay. thank you. Cheers, thank you. That's interesting, isn't it? We don't have much choice. We've got about seven minutes to get there. She said, don't walk down that road. I can't see being that dangerous. There's three of us, isn't there? I'll sort it. <laughs> We're now walking down to try and find this car. We're trying to stick with other people that are also doing, hopefully, the same thing as us. 
because these phones, like, we've got no phone signal or anything. Is he not answering? No, no driver's not answering. Guys, check this. We've just been all the way up there. You can see where the path curls round. All the way at the top. Okay, we just walked about 25 minutes in the wrong direction after walking all the way down. Oh, we've just yeah. got in a random taxi. Mate, this is sketch. Don't say that. He says he'll take us to the airport. Mate, check the seats. Our driver just wasn't where he said he was, so we literally couldn't find it. And this is... Mate, can we have a tour of the taxi, please? I'm sketching out. I don't want to be doing a tour of the taxi. As soon as I get phone signal, I'm getting maps up to make sure we're going the right way. Yeah. I don't even know if this is a legit taxi. It was just the only car there, and this guy said he could take us. You guys are doing a bloody photo shoot. Yeah, we are, right? We are. Check out this <laughs> How are you this chill? Mate, I am chill. Hello mate. Hey, how are we? How's it going? Yeah, not too bad. Whereabouts are you at the moment? Um, I just come to Malta. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> there is no chance you're in Malta. Uh, no, I'm in Romania, haven't I? Like, what? <laughs> Already off in Romania. So I've got two questions for you. I want to end the video on. Go. Number one, did you enjoy it? Would you do it again? Really enjoyed it. Love that it was super spontaneous. For me, that's what life's about. And um, yeah, I would definitely do it again. Question number two: What will it take to get you to jump in the big blue hole in Malta? <sighs> Couple million quid, mate. <laughs> We have to do it. We have to. No, to be fair, the more I thought about it, the more I thought, I should have done it. It's like, it's one of them things that's always going to hang over me until I do it. So yeah, it's on the cards, mate. It's on the cards. I feel like we need to do some kind of video where we both face a fear of ours. Yours is jumping in the big blue hole, and then we'll do something else in Malta that scares me. I, I can find something, definitely. I think we do it. I think we do it. It's happening. Hundred percent. There are so many moments that I'm watching when editing this video back already that I'm like, I forgot that even happened, but it wouldn't have happened if the trip was more planned. The fact that the trip was so had so little planning, or basically none, made it what it was. And the thing is, because it was so spontaneous, it, even though it was only one night away, it's something I'll never forget, because it was just last minute to get me. And they're the type of experiences you remember, isn't it? I appreciate you coming on it, man. I appreciate you getting involved. Yeah, no, honestly, mate, I appreciate the invite to come in, mate. Honestly, I don't think it's like, I'm a big blue ball, it's happening. It's happening. Right, I'll see you soon, bro. Yeah, have a good one, mate. Have a good one. Safe trip. See you later, mate. Have a good one. Yo. He's already off on another trip. And like you said, he literally summed it up perfectly. This trip that we've just been on, that you've just experienced, is going to stay in my memories and Simon's memories forever because of the spontaneity and just how last minute it was. But also the fact that the moments that happened in it only happened because of how spontaneous it was. And I think it's just shaken things up for me to maybe sit back and think, maybe I need to allow more times in my life and in future trips that are planned less because they allow for space and moments to happen for things that you're not expecting. And often they are, they're the most special things. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go down below and give it a thumbs up. This video has been a big project, a lot of work. As you can see, the editing and everything has been stepped up. A lot has gone into this video, resulting in me even getting ill, as you can probably sound, I sound all bunged up. I'll see you soon with another new video.